Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny, I'm going to talk to you as soon as I find you. What is this place? Is that? It is. It is. It's NCR people. NCR people are so nice. I don't think I've mentioned that enough yet. Like, I am certain that if I was here dying due to something like losing my arm, I'm confident that one of the NCR soldiers would saw off their one of their own arms, and then they would try to sew their arm onto where my arm was with one arm that they have left. I don't know how it would work, but I appreciate the thought that they would have. Ooh, what do we have here? Excuse me, sir, what is this place? I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the gun robot and the gun, gun runners? Gun runners? Gun runners! <laughs> okay. I have escaped the view of the gun runners. All right, where am I now? Okay, uh, yeah, let's go in here. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? <laughs> what the? What uh, the? What was that for? I'm hit. Okay, so I don't know what that was about. Did you? Were you part of? Oh, yeah. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> uh, you don't look okay, but, um, I'll see if I can get help. Oh, is that kid chasing that rat? Hope the kid gets him. Well, actually, I hope that the rat escapes, because if the rat escapes, then nobody dies. Good. Good, that kid, oh, oh, he's trying again. He's, he's, he's gonna continue trying. I almost feel bad for the kid, though. He's just gonna, he's just gonna keep trying, and the rat's just too fast for him. Maybe I should help him. Nah, you know what? I can't kill a rat that isn't attacking anybody. Yeah, I'll leave the kid and that rat alone. Okay, the Kings. That's a very interesting name for a place. You want someone dead? So, this is... Stop by the Silver Hungry? Rush and we'll give Thirsty? you the means. Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Very interesting. Lasers, plasma, hey. Pistols? Grenades. Pistols? Uh uh. No way, buddy. Ain't gonna happen. Um. Where are the firefighters? We need some someone to put this fire out, I think. I mean, unless you want it lit. I guess it's not spreading, so it's not a problem. Alright, I guess I'll just leave it as is. Welcome to the strip. Yes, that is where I need to go. And I cannot make a U-turn, so I will head right in. And nothing will stop me. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Oh, well why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Oh. Wow, thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Wow, interesting. What's your story? See ya. Good enough for me. Now. Okay, so the Southgate greeter. Oh, hey sir, you shouldn't go hey, there sir. without talking to the so Southgate... Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Oh, a credit check. Um, okay, I'll submit to the credit check. I'm sorry, but your balance does not meet the minimum balance. Oh, 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 okay, well, robot, let me pass. Please submit to a credit check or present a passport. Okay, um, well... Goodbye. Please return when you have sufficient caps or passport. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, I hope that guy is okay. Why did he stop it? Oh. Okay. Um. Alright, so... I guess I have to get this passport. Okay. That's fine. And where I have to get the credit check amount. Or, 
Or if I can figure out a way to hack that robot, hmm, I can maybe make him let me go, but I have to learn more science stuff. And that might take a long time. Alright, where should I go then? Where should I go? I need to get money. I need to make money. I mean, there's the Silver Rush, but they have weapons. I don't know if I like that. I could see if they're hiring, but... Mm. You know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. This place looks a lot more fun. The King's School of Impersonation. Open... Oh, op, I think it's supposed to say Open Enrollment. Okay, um, I hope that's that's another way of saying that they have job opportunities open. Because I could use a job. Alright, let's see. Hey, sir, how are you doing today? What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Yes, yes, I'd like to see the king if he's the one who would hire me. Well, anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Oh, uh, it's, um, uh, trust me, the king will want to see me. No, trust me, the king will want to see you if I want you to see him. Come back when you figure out how the world works. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, I will give you 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Yes, sir. I'm. Man, that was really nice of him. It was only 50 caps, too. So it's not like he was looking to just, just take like a thousand caps or something. Like, he was, he, he was firm, but fair. I like that. I like this guy. You, you must be the king, and you have a robot dog. Hello, king. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Um, well, I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Um, Sure, uh, I'm listening. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? No, I did not. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man told me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Uh, sure. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Oh wow, he lends me 200 caps. That's... That's that's so nice. That's something that I never see from people. I mean, usually, like, I, I'd expect, like, you know, I'd have to, like, put up the money first, and then I'd have to come here, and then I'd have to submit paperwork and stuff in order to get the, the money back. But, but no, my boss here, he just gives me the money and tells me to go and get what I need, or what he wants. But, yeah. Hello, you must be the bodyguard I'm looking to hire. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Oh, that sounds great. How much for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. Of course. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. Sure. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep Absolutely. a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Oh, sure. Sure thing, let's go. Let's do this! To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. If they don't outnumber you five to one, you'll be... Oh, you didn't finish what you were saying. 
Oh. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Really? Wow, you're really helpful. You know, not only are you protecting me, but you're also telling me stuff which I didn't hey, need to know. Oh. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Yeah, it looks like they might have guns. I don't want to deal with them either. Are you coming, sir? You're supposed to go ahead of me. Alright. Oh, you're running. Why are you running like that? You're running pretty quickly. How do I run like that? I want to run that quickly. Oh! Nothing oh. to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Um, you only fired three shots, but there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up repeat business? That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. After you. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, well, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. Oh. Oh yeah, I'll... I'll keep my mouth... Sealed shut. King, King, that horse got... Oh. Where is he? King, King... Hi. King, King, that horse guy was amazing. He shot three bullets and killed four people, and I was like, whoa, and I even called him out on it, but he was like, wow, he, he like, convinced me, too. I'll see you later. Were you talking to me or her? Anyway, King, that horse guy, I give him five stars. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked. And I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over. See if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay, so people were attacked. I have to figure out who did what. Sounds good. I like being able to try and keep the peace. I do hope Oris will be okay, though. The king sounded like he wasn't too impressed with my five-star rating. Maybe he thought Oris would be a six-star guy. Hmm. Alright, so the old Mormon fort. That's this place, which I know about thanks to Oris. Hey, I heard somebody was attacked. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Well, the king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night. Around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I, I see. got a quick look at them. Wow, that's... I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know who did this, but I'll, I'll find out. Don't you worry. I hope you find the bastards that did this. 
Yes, I will. I'll try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne. It's okay, the king sent him. Yeah, I was sent by the hey. king. That true? Did the king really send you? Yes, as I just said, he did. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every little bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard right? one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We okay. had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. Lou Tenant, Lou Tenant. That is the man I am looking for, Lou Tenant. All right, what a weird name, but let's let's investigate this. What was that noise? So King, 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 and you too, Pacer. I think that's your name, Pacer. I'm not sure if I got your name, but uh, I'm gonna call you Pacer if your name is not Pacer. But anyway, King. Uh, so so guess what? There was this guy, first name Lou. He he went and attacked the the guys, and let me tell you all about it again. All right. The the men they they were attacked. Guy named Lou Tennant. He had. He had attacked them by and, and and his cronies too. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Well, that sounds nice. I like that idea. Hugging people always makes things better. I'm gonna go talk to Julie Farkas. Julie, I want to hug something. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. No, I want to hug something. The king said you said you would hug something or something or tell me to hug somebody. Oh, and do you know anything about Mr. Tennant? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? What 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 about him? Him, Mr. Tennant is not an it. Mr. Tennant is a him. Anyway, King thinks that Mr. Tennant may be attacking locals. And other stuff, too. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, thank you for your help. I will go and hug Elizabeth. You guys, let me in. Excuse me, can I please go in there? I need to speak to Elizabeth about Lou, last name Tennant. Hold up, what's the password? Um, Tennant comma Lou? Since you put it like that, no. I don't know the password. Go someplace else. Oh. Oh, so you're saying I can't get in there. Oh. I guess I have to find the password. I really hope I can find the password. Sir, hopefully you can help me. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? I sure am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Lay it on me, bro. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. Okay. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh, um, uh, I like the name. 
Tibbet, mostly. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Oh, um... Well, I think I've heard of Vault 13 before, so let's go with that. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? I thought it was a bull. Oh, well. Oh, no, that, that's the other thing. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it was a two-headed bear. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got some of your facts mixed up. Really? Great, I can't help you. Oh, well, can I can I try again? I'm not really supposed to administer the test more than once, but what the hell? You're the only new face I've seen today. Good. You want to take it again right away? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Um I liked also the name Tandy. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Um If it's not Vault 13, I mean it could have been Vault 13. Let's say it's Aradesh. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear? An eagle? Yes, the two-headed bear. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got some of your facts mixed up. I'm afraid I can't help you. Can't I try again? I'm not really supposed to administer the test more than once, but what the hell? You're the only new face I've seen today. Did you want to take it again right away? Yes, let's try it one more time. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in... Kimball sucks, so it has to be Peterson. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Uh, Shady Sands. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR... Two-headed bear. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got some of your facts mixed. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, but come on, not everybody knows these things, even people in the NCR. I'm sure some don't, but the loyal ones do. And that's who we're aiming to help, the loyal ones. Still, you've got a fire in you that tells me you're one of us and just screwed up. So I'll let you take the test again if you'd like. Hmm... Let me see if I can study up for this test. I'll I'll come back later. Just stop by and we'll go over it again. So I'm not very good at tests, but maybe somebody else can help me. Hi, can you help me? Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? I hope I am. Ordinarily, I'd take your word on that. But lately, I've had several people lie and claim to be citizens just to take advantage of our program. I certainly but hope not. With a fairly simple way to tell who's lying. You up to taking a little test? Yes. This will just take a few moments, and it's all stuff that any real citizen of the NCR knows. Okay. First question: Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Oh. Tibbet, no. Tandy, or Peterson? Oh. Um. Oh boy. Wow. Okay, you know what? Um Okay, let's say Kimball. Interesting. Okay. Next question. Wait, let me guess. Well, the original NCR capital thing, right? Yeah, okay. Uh I say the boneyard. Fair enough. All right, last question. Two-headed bear. I'm sorry, but you didn't get all of the questions right, which proves you're not a citizen of the NCR. Sorry. Oh, come on. I want to take the test one more time. I like you more than the other guy. Ah, oh, you're back. Did you want to take that test again now? Yes, as I just said, I would like to. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Tandy. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? 
Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Shady Sands. Right. Fine, then. Last question. Two-headed bear. Good. You passed with flying colors. I did? Okay, fine. I what? I wanting to know about that meal, then, huh? I... Located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope, and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Hope? Who would have guessed? Wow. Wow, I was just guessing there, and I actually got all of them that time. What? Whoa, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Man, good thing my luck stat is high. Whatever that is. Hope, 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 Hold up. What's the password? Hope. Go ahead. Thank you. By the way, I appreciate you guys doing your job. You are doing a great job guarding this store. Hi, Elizabeth. Do you know anything about Lou? Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NC. What about Lou? And don't think that I can't be intimidating and questioning and all that stuff. But thank you for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. No, I'm too nice to be doing this. So I I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Do you happen to know anything about the about what the NCR is doing here? Yes. Okay, uh, well, are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. I see. Do you serve the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Uh, yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Oh, you're really nice. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um... Can we continue talking, please? Yes. Good. Um, why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Uh, well, Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Yes. Not everyone in the NCR yes, sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Hello. Okay. All right, so the king refused hmm that's not like the king 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 is a much better guy than that there must be some misunderstanding hello i heard that ncr soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal that's bullshit and it's nothing to bother the king with more like they sent someone to spy on us and he wasn't tough enough to last in freeside so do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? You're right. He shouldn't be bothered with rumors right now. Exactly. Seeing that we're of one mind on this, I'll head out. I got business to take care of. So, King, do you know anything about a messenger? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Well, the NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Well, they're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Well, they said that someone was sent to discuss the issue with you, but... Well... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Well, they said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. <laughs> That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? Oh, uh, oh, uh, King, the, the, the guy is, the guy is stuck. Uh, there we go. Okay. Did he need to really run around here We've to? We've got problems. I guess he did. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and. Quiet. I mean, 
I'm sorry, Rex. I shouldn't have said that. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Yes. Yes, I will. I will go and tell them that you are willing to cooperate. The king of cooperation is the king. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Yes, sir, I understand. Hi, Elizabeth. The cooperation king has sent me to cooperate. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? To cooperate. No, thanks. Well, see, the king... The king didn't actually, uh attack the envoy uh it was actually someone else that was in the kings but it was not the king himself the king actually wants to discuss this and resolve this then he should watch his back we know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters still if the king's willing to deal with us perhaps we can work something out i'll tell my men to stand down good good okay good and by the way that was fast because they already stopped shooting before you could say anything I guess they must have, they must have, uh, what is it, telepathy? Where they can communicate with each other Hello. through their minds. I guess it's just NCR stuff. Hopefully I can join them and learn it one day. Hi, Pacer. How you doing? Hi. Time to go back to the king after I take a few minutes to rest.